Hi guys, Lorna, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it has been ages since I made like a proper video, not a little vlog or short or anything, just to keep my channel alive. Um, so what has been up with me? Uh, tons of things. I think this year moved on so quickly. I didn't really had the time to catch up um, since, I don't know, when was the last time I really chatted about my life? I think it was around COVID um, and then then just about the Sisters of Mercy concert, I think. But uh, so yeah, so Sisters of Mercy was in March, March or April? What time are we already? Uh, June? Wow, June. All right. So perhaps, yeah, no, perhaps only two months, but still, it, it feels like a really long time I didn't chat on here. I don't know what to say. Um, I was feeling a bit overwhelmed these days. Um, I don't know why. I think I think I managed to do so many things that uh, my social battery were really low and I kept on doing things and it was not really good for my mental health so I tried to you know limit things uh, like one or maybe two two maximum per week because more I don't I don't I do not keep it up if I do this so anyway um, last week I went to the concert of she passed away she passed away concert tried to tried to cut this t-shirt, it's a bit weird, but uh, I didn't want it the color, you know, so I'll just cut it like this. And so I got the t-shirt from She Passed Away and a little patch. And I really liked the concert, but I didn't like the crowd at all. I thought um, there was some elder goth and there were some people a bit older, but there was a lot, a lot of young people. and. I think they misunderstood the fact that it was like a concert. It was not like a rave party. And I have nothing against uh, techno or rave, you know, parties, but uh, but this was not really the point. So it made me feel a bit uncomfortable and I thought they were really disrespectful. I don't know, really didn't like, you know, I, I'm always in the front and they, I was about to not enjoy the concert as much as I could um, with them around. So in the end, I just went in the back. I was like, okay, they um, they went, you know, uh, I moved. Uh, I, I gave them my space. I didn't like that because this was my space. I had this, you know, I have this hyper fixation, um, autistic focus that I needed to stay in this area. I wanted to be there, but they, just you know made me move because i was not comfortable having them around like i thought i think they all took molly or i don't know but it was like a concert guys chill i don't know <laughs> so um anyway a bit disappointed about this but the um, she passed away are really brilliant um the the voice is incredible i think uh it's it's really good they're really good if you like it i mean on stage it's really good so if you had the opportunity to see them live let me know anyway and uh yesterday not not yesterday um Anyway, last weekend I also went to a goth club with my friends and it has been such a long time. I haven't been uh, dancing and it was really good. Uh, this is this sort of even is like maybe every two months, something like this, two or three months. So it's not something I'm gonna do every week. So that's really good. It's with elder people. So I think it's like, you know, the, the party of the month and more <laughs> so uh, anyway it's uh, it, it was a good uh, rhythm for me I think uh, so I really enjoyed it and uh, that's it uh, so today I'm going to show you the Voss sandal I got my new uniform pair from Dr. Martin so let me show you so it is a pair of sandals this time um, it's it's summer so we had to pick a pair of sandals um, I'm not a huge fan of Dr. Martin sandals um, I think they're really good if you want to walk but when we work uh, standing up all day I don't know I uh, I feel that they're a bit like too hmm, how can I say 
the sole is a bit too soft. I feel like the shoe is a bit too light to carry me around all day standing up. I don't know how to say so it depends I think it really depends because there's some different kind of sandals but if you don't like Dr. Martin sandals I understand it's a weird feeling first you if you know Dr. Martin it's, it's a special sensation uh, that we we feel when we're inside the shoe when it's closed shoe it's it's more bearable but when it's open shoe it can be a bit weird um, not because of the space in the front um, that you have but more because it's like a big shoe and you don't have any socks well I don't wear socks with sandals I, I know it's like a new trend or something I, don't, I really don't like it so it's it's kind of weird a bit anyway I'm gonna show you so I got the so I got the Vegan Foss sandals. I have never worn some vegan shoe. I know a lot of you know, uh, reviews from my friend or some customers, so I kind of know how it uh, feels, but I never wore some uh, vegan leather. So it's basically plastic, recycled plastic, um, and they look like this. I never had some kind of patent leather so it's not patent leather but it's like a bit shiny and it's so it's not leather but it's really soft like this and this model Voss I already had one if I'm right yes I had the Voss Charo Brando um, it's in the brown leather so this is the one in vegan. I really like the details like this. It's, it could have been silver. I wouldn't say no, but I think it's really nice with the little tag, vegan uh, tag like this. Um, and so here it is. So um, yes, so those Voss are in size of five uk size 538 this is my size i'm sorry i've already worn them so the sole is a bit dirty i tried to clean it this morning but you can see what it what it looks like one day yeah i've only worn it one day so only one day um the sole is like this it's a zebrulous sole so it's really really soft um the first vos they made were a bit softer and this part just came really flat quick and now I can feel it's a bit thicker so it's not gonna flatten um, really quick I think and the inside is plastic so the fact that it's plastic this is not only for the vegan it's all, all sandals apart from I think uh, Griffon and Gerardo, some stuff like this, which has the normal sole uh, from Dr. Martins. Those, I think the inside is in leather, but this is plastic. So it kind of makes your feet dirty if you're not wearing any socks. So this is maybe if you see a little, so it's not really clean there, it's my foot. <laughs> <laughs> which were not really clean at the end of the day walking in Paris so uh, anyway but I can feel that it's a really good shoe uh, the only fact is that here uh, and my toe hurt a bit I don't know because I've only worn it one day I don't know if it's gonna go away um, I'm really really sensitive so some people do not some people are not hurting it's for me, it's the first day, I was a bit hurting there and I was kind of scared that it n will never go away because it's not leather, so it's, it cannot really stretch. It's already really stretched, um, so it, it's, it's plastic, it, it, it cannot move. Anyway, so I will try to wear them more and I could, you know, keep it a bit updated, maybe in the comments or something. Um, I want to wear them when I will be in Canada this summer. I'm so, so excited about this. So if I walk a lot with the, them, um, I could definitely tell you. But for now, they're good, they're comfortable, they're light. Uh, there's some Voss. I think the Voss is really good because it's a sandal that you can tie here and you can tie here also. If you 
if you have this part of the, your foot which is a bit bigger this is good if you have a tiny ankle i have here my foot is a bit large and there i have a really tiny ankle so th this i can you know i just um tighten a bit more so i think the model vos is one of my favorite from Dr. Martens, I think. Um, perhaps the perhaps the next time I will try Griffon, which is, they feel a bit stiffer because it's like the normal sole from Dr. Martens. But they are leather, so I think maybe that will be a good thing to try some leather sandals again. Um, so yeah, so really, really pretty. I and what can I say? Yeah, you have the you have the yellow stitches, which I think is really good. Um, yeah, looks like this. And about the price, if I'm not wrong, they're around, I think they're 129 euro, and I do not what, and I do not know the price in uh, pounds. So. I will add it and I don't even know if they're really in the uh, US collection because from Europe to America we have um, different collections so I don't know so this was the vegan Voss shoe Oxford Oxford vegan leather and I hope you like it we'll insert the little clip and I'll see you in my next video Cheers. okay so sorry but I put some tights because um, I didn't want it to show you my feet without any uh, nail polish so as you can see it has a space there so I think so the space there is necessary on the Dr. Martins when it's closed but on also when it's open so that's nice and it looks like this I think they're super pretty, they're super light, I feel super comfortable with it, it's really really a good pair of shoe, um, I just hope I'm not gonna, you know, just, um, here it's fine, but for me it's a bit there, I think it's because I have my, my big toe goes up like this, and it's often hurting here, but for now it's fine. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.